Hey, you all, uh, Eric Radvon here with a quick little update on all things Lady Dark. Uh, our Kickstarter campaign is entering into its final week. We are technically eight days to go. I think at some time this evening, that's going to toggle over to seven. Um, we're at 168% funded, uh, cracked the $10,000 $10, mark late last night. Uh, we're well above that. Uh, as of this recording this afternoon. So um, again, surging past all expectations. Our goal was 6,000 and um, we're well above that, which is great. So what does that mean? Well, um, you know, we got to wait for the campaign to wrap up. You know, there's uh, there's people who drop in and out of their pledges with Kickstarter. So it ain't over till it's over until we cross that finish line. So uh, seven days left for us to do that. Once the, the, the you know, the campaign is wrapped, and um, and the dust is settled. Kickstarter takes their fee, then they take some transaction fees out. Uh, whatever all that is, whatever is carved out of it, whatever's left, um, that's going to be our budget. And then um, you know, then then I really get to work. But I've started to do some preliminary things based on some conservative estimates here. And I think what it means is that Lady Dark Number One is going to expand to be a 32-page issue. Um, so it's so a pretty nice oversized first issue. Again, there's no ads or anything. So uh, the story itself, the script as it was written was 21 pages. Uh, this extra funding, uh, again, anticipated uh, to be coming in. I think that's allowed me to expand things to the point where I can do a 24 page story right off the bat here. Um, so what does that mean? That means I've got, I've got a page that introduces a really cool character who's gonna be kind of uh, uh, an important thread throughout the, the at least the first five issues of the book. Um, so they're making a, an appearance within issue one now, which is great. Um, we've got some extra beats that allow Laura's character to be explored a little bit more. We get a little bit more into her inner workings through a, a nice kind of quiet segue sequence. Um, that was originally one page that's been expanded a little bit. That also allows us to add in some of our mega backers who have pledged to those tiers where they actually get drawn into the comic. It's giving them spaces to be added in there. And, and, and it's in a kind of a fun and organic way as well. Um, as Laura makes her way from school to home on this walk. So um, some cool stuff there. Um, one of the things I'm really excited about too is this extra uh, space allowed me to expand a page into a double page splash, which I, I kind of feel like every comic needs one. The original Lady Dark script didn't have it. So now we do have that. And I think, uh, you know, we love Samir, uh, Samir's art and, and seeing a double page splash from him is going to be awesome. So we're, we're super excited to have that. Uh, I'm going to share my screen with you all and share some pages. I'll be sharing this on the Kickstarter as well. Um, so we've got page one. This is how the story opens. These are not lettered. So they'll be um, uh, my story uh, brought to the artistic page by letterer Micah Myers uh, to come here, but it's um, fully penciled, fully inked, fully colored. Um, we made some changing uh, where we had um, the page was originally like a, like a white comic page with white in between the gutters. We went ahead and changed that to black. And I think for this initial sequence, it really gives me that look and feel. It's kind of going for like a, like a, a, a Malibu comics, but not quite it's kind of like a glossy, um, you know, look and feel. And I think a lot of those, a lot of those event comics or things that felt like an event, you know, uh, from the, from the nineties or early two thousands, they use that sort of like full, bleed color approach on the page and, and that's kind of uh, the mood that's been affected here and I think with with the um, uh, both the artwork and the coloring the the black really makes this thing so this is how things open um, then we get into page two and uh, it's Dark Knight Returns you know that, that was my script note on this was you know Frank Miller's Dark Knight Return it's uh, obviously it, it's a um, iconic type of image uh, the idea here is not not to sort of parody it. You know, I've seen a lot of those sort of gimmick covers and things like that. Um, I think the, you know, the illusion is obvious here of what we're drawing from for anyone who has kind of got a cursory interest in, in comic books over the last 30 years. It's, a, it's an image that will probably be recognizable, um, but it's not really, it's not done as a sort of parody thing at all. This is, uh, it's a wink and a nod of kind of our inspiration and 
where we're going and the kind of energy that we're looking to bring to things here. So it's, um, I don't know, it's simultaneously playful, but we're playing it straight as well. And I think it looks pretty cool. And then that brings us right into the action. So you got your kind of classic alley scene uh, shaping up here. And that's the sort of hero um, and the sort of story uh, Lady Dark is, is that you're, you're gonna see a lot of this street level stuff also paired with the kind of supernatural magical stuff. I kind of like the intersection of those two worlds. So, um, you know, Samir's done a great job of uh, drawing some some rough looking characters here and, um, and, and Lady Dark uh, is gearing up to take them on and writing the dialogue for these kind of action scenes is like my favorite stuff to do. So we've got some really cool stuff here. And um, I think uh, once you see the, the the next pages to come, it's going to be really fun. So we open the issue with a bang. We, we jump right into the action. Um, so the, the action sequence here is about six pages long. And then we, we shift gears into other parts of the story. But, um, you know, I, I really like starting off with a bang. So I hope you like what you see here. I'll be putting these on the Kickstarter update page as well. And, um, and yeah, so final week ahead. If, uh, if you've been checking out the project with interest and haven't pledged yet, there's still some really great tiers left. Um, if you've already pledged, thank you so much. Super appreciate the support. Um, do us a favor, give us a like on Facebook, a share, uh, a retweet on Twitter. Those things go a long way in helping. I'm, I'm out here banging the drum all day long, but people are sick of me and they're sick of seeing my face, I'm sure. So. Um, anything else that kind of gets the word out there is a huge help, not just to myself, but the entire creative team. So again, thanks so much. And um, looking forward to bringing Lady Dark number one to life with you. Um, again, we're, we're looking at 32 pages, uh, or as the comics of my youth would say on the cover, somehow this was a syntax that only made sense in comics, but they would say 32 pages big, <laughs> they throw that on the cover. So we are indeed on a 32 pages big trajectory. Some of the other cool stuff I'm looking at is um, cover quality. Um, looking from, I, I already sort of earmarked a, a higher grade paper for the cover. Now I'm looking taking that one step further to a, a cardstock cover. So I think that combined with the 32 pages, it's gonna be a really nice premium feeling first issue here. Um, so something special, I think for everyone who's, who's joining us, uh, both as a reader, a collector, uh, connoisseur of uh, comics, uh, whatever it is. I want this to be something that you like the way it, it feels in your hand, you like the way it reads, you like the way it smells, all of that. I think that tactile thing is a, a super cool bonus to, to this comic book world we find ourselves in. So again, thanks so much. Um, check us out on uh, Kickstarter. I put the link in there. I've also set up a Lady Dark landing page on my own website. So it should be like radvon.com slash Lady Dark, I believe. I'll put that link in the bottom as well. And that will be the place to um, keep up on future updates above and beyond the Kickstarter. So thanks again, everyone. Talk to you soon. Take care.